Hey guys, it's Domi and I'm going to be doing a subscription review on my January 2018 Ipsy Glam Bag. And the Ipsy Glam Bag always comes in this little bubble mailer. And this month, this is what the Ipsy Glam Bag looks like. So, how Ipsy works, and for those of you guys that don't, don't know, for those of you guys that don't know, it is a monthly beauty subscription service. So every month you get five products. Sometimes the products may be too big and so they'll stick them in here um, and the rest of the products in your glam bag. Every month you get a different glam bag. Now for those of you guys that's been members since the beginning, I would love to see your Ipsy collection because you definitely can rack up some bags. Um, I really like this month's bag. Um, it's very sporty. so. And it's perfect because I feel like when it gets real cold outside, like we've had that little winter storm. I guess it was a storm. I don't really consider it a storm. Um, but um, it kind of motivates you to work out even more. I know it's definitely motivating me. So let's see what we have this month. Uh, one thing they started doing is they have this thing where they let you see what's in your bag before you get it. And I never look at it because I'm like, this defeats the whole purpose of me getting, like, subscription boxes. Like, I like to be surprised. Anyway, so, and this is cool. So sometimes they have this game face thing. It says, um, your January glam bag. Five personalized picks in the articles were designed to keep you game face and ready for anything all month long. They teamed up with Candace Huffine or Huffin of day one and empowering active board line to express that everybody and everybody can slay every day. What will you conquer? Fill in the blank on the flip side of this card. Post it on social and tag hashtag Ipsy and hashtag Ipsy game face. Um, so I will conquer. All right. So what do we have here? Looks like baby food. Um, Global Beauty Care Charcoal Wash-Off Mask. 15-minute facial therapy deep cleansing mud-based formula. Unclogs pores and lifts away impurities for all skin types. I like this. I like this right here. I think that's... It's less messy. Less messy. Um, so I have this. Then I have Briogeo. Scout Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I actually really, really, really love this brand. I have the hairspray. I have two bottles because I think I got them from different um, subscription boxes. Love it. This is ooh, nail polish. Dang, man. I literally just <sighs> void nail polish. Eco perfected, cruelty free, and vegan friendly. Let's see what we got. I would have put this on today. This is what I would have been wearing. I did a horrible job doing my nails today, by the way. Like, a really, really... It was just, like, so fast. I love this color, though. This is really pretty. What is it called? Marvelous? Maybe that's the name of it. Marvelous. So there's that. That's exciting. Alright, next I have Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. Free of parabens, gluten, never tested on animals. Alright, hopefully it's not a funny color. Ola Babe. This is the... I don't know, guys. Let's see. Sometimes I worry about some of these colors. And I don't know what it is about some of Mate like lips, lip colors and stuff or lipsticks. They just don't do well. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad. I'm just going to put a little on. Very neutral. Very neutral. I have one that's it's a different brand, very similar to this color, but it looks, when it goes on, it kind of looks real pasty, like, it don't look right with my color. And then we have 
fierce flicks. This is a pencil or eyeliner. Pretty sure it's eyeliner. Well, so this is when it's time to write Ixie because I have wrote them before and I said, please don't put any uh, eyeliners or anything in my bag. And maybe they're trying to tell me, like, I need eyeliner. That's why they're not listening to me. I don't know. But anyway, uh, can you, if you guys can see this. So those are the five products that came in my Ipsy bag. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy. I love this bag. I think this is really cute. Definitely something that I throw in my little yoga gym bag. Um, hey, shh. Prissy. God. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, my dog loves to just start barking at everybody and growling whenever I'm doing my videos. And she just does too much. Prissy. Stop. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but I can. Um, so anyway, again, these are my five products. Ipsy only costs $10 a month, and it's free shipping. Um, so it's really reasonable, and, I, and you get free bags. Like, this really helps if you're an addict like me, and you just love little bags and stuff. I don't think I've ever used... I've used an Ipsy bag, like, maybe once or twice. I think I just collect them. Um... But I do want to say something, and I usually say this after everyone, for those of you guys that have a bunch of Ipsy bags and you don't use them, um, one of the ways that you can recycle or, like, really, you know, um, kind of get rid of them uh, without throwing them in the garbage, because I know somebody that threw her Ipsy bags in the garbage. I was like, seriously? Um, is what you can do is you can fill them up, like, with little candies if you want, and give them to, like, kids in the neighborhood. Or, if you want, you can fill them up with, like, little travel size stuff, like maybe a travel size toothpaste, travel size um, soap, like, little things like that, and give it to um, the homeless. When I, I actually did that with a friend of mine. I was new to Ipsy, so I didn't have a bunch of Ipsy bags, but we actually collected um, a bunch of Ipsy bags from people we know. They're just Ipsy hoarders, Ipsy bag hoarders, um, and that's what we did. We just kind of, you know, filled them up with little little things and gave them to the homeless. So that's an idea for all you guys don't know what to do with them. Um, so, and I'm probably going to start something soon because what, I forgot who it was. One of you guys had actually sent me a whole bunch of your, or not me, you sent um, my friend a bunch of your Ipsy bags and stuff to kind of help us out. So I really do appreciate that. Um, and we're probably going to do that again, probably this spring or summer. Um, so anyway, that is an idea for any of you guys trying to figure out what to do with those box of Ipsy bags, alright? So thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Bye!